I've got two words for you and this will either sound like music to your ears or nails on a chalkboard. Pumpkin spice. I'm not sure on which side of the fence I land because I love a good pumpkin pie. I think I might have had one pumpkin spice latte in my life but I'm not sure I quite understand the craze. So I'm gonna hit the town and see what the craze of pumpkin spice is all about. First stop is going to be Dunkin' Donuts because that just happens to be the place closest to me right now. So let's see what they have. Can I get a small coffee with cream and a pumpkin donut and a pumpkin muffin? All right, I got like just some regular coffee because I love their coffee. Okay, this is Dunkin' Donuts Pumpkin Donut. Just the first bite tastes like Christmas, not Halloween. This is um, not too pumpkin-y, not too like pumpkin spicy, I think. It's almost like warm gingerbread meets pumpkin. So I like that because it didn't like punch me in the face with pumpkin. Two thumbs up. Okay, here's their pumpkin muffin. This smells more like pumpkin bread. Here's the color of the pumpkin muffin. It's more of like a natural pumpkin color where this donut is like almost like an artificial orange. So it's kind of like they colored it almost and put like some gingerbread flavoring in it. So let me taste it. Very subtle pumpkin flavor again. So I'm liking that Dunkin' Donuts doesn't like punch you in the face with pumpkin. Okay, I'm gonna find me one of those diehard PSL people because I might let them taste it. Okay, before I go on my latte excursion, let's see if Whole Foods has some like unique, even savory things with pumpkin spice. Let's go in. Pumpkin beer, now we're talking. All right, had a little bit of luck. Picked up a little ice cream, Halo Top, pumpkin spice ale, and some Blue Moon pumpkins. Still have some driving around with this though. I'll wait on that. But the pumpkin spice ice cream is good for people when it's like, you want the pumpkin spice, but you live in the South like me and it's 100 degrees today. Pretty good. I think the thing about the pumpkin spice, I think it gets old. It just makes me kind of like I get sick of it. I think pumpkin spice lovers will love the Halo Top. So it's a thumbs up for the pumpkin spice lovers. Not necessarily something I would buy. All right, like I said, I really wanted to find out what the fuss is all about. I just don't understand. So I thought I should find one of those people and let them, you know, explain their love for it. So I just called my cousin. She lives and breathes pumpkin spice. All right, y'all, I just pulled up and let me show you what she shows up in. Y'all, look at that shirt. Look at that shirt. I found her. What's up? <laughs> this is Alicia. Okay, she is a self-proclaimed uh, PSL addict. Am yeah. I right? Yes, PSL okay. for life. Why do you love it so much? I mean, why do you not love it? Help me understand it's how not you that I don't, don't love, love it. it. But I do, I'm you having a hard time it. understanding the obsession. Oh my gosh. It's like, I love a pumpkin pie. Right. But this isn't the same. Is it the latte that you it's love like or it's just everything? all of it. It's like everything. Does it just make it, it like... It makes my heart leap with joy. Have you had these? I have not, but I've seen the pumpkin spice Kit Kats. Okay, this is another thing. Like yeah. a Kit Kat was just fine. I agree with you on that. I just ate a candle. <laughs> that tastes like the way the pumpkin candles smell. Am I right? It really does. Kit Kat should have left this one alone. Even a pumpkin mm -hmm. spice addict mm -hmm. is not a fan of the pumpkin spice I'm not. Kit Kat. Mm -mm. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Some people just like they take it to the vomit extreme. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so earlier I got some Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. I tried their donut and their muffin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you taste their donut and their muffin. I just broke okay. it off. Okay. So you can... I've had this before. Oh, you have? Uh -huh. Okay. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. You love it? You so love good. it. So okay. good. Have you love had it. the muffin? I haven't had the muffin. Is it a pumpkin spice muffin? Yeah, it's pumpkin muffin. Ooh. Okay. I don't taste any pumpkin. It just tastes like a muffin. Like it's kind of tasteless. But you liked the donut. I love the donut. I said I think pumpkin spice 
lovers aren't going to love the muffin. Mm-mm. Pumpkin spice, like, we like it in small doses, would like the muffin. Mm. So now it is time for me to go taste my second ever pumpkin spice second latte. Ever. ever. And I'm also going to get a lightened up version. I'm not as worried about the calorie part as I am the taste, like that. I'm just going to ask for half the amount of pumps. Sounds good. I mean, it doesn't sound great, but, you know, for you, I guess it'll be fine. <laughs> and I'll do a side-by-side side and see which one I like better. Yeah, let's let's go. do it. All right, here we go. We're going to try their pumpkin bread, too, to compare it with, like, Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, can we try a slice of the pumpkin bread? I want to get a normal pumpkin spice latte. Okay, can we get another tall, but with one pump of the pumpkin and no whipped cream? Thank you. You're so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Not as overpowering so as I as I remember. It's just fall in a cup. It is fall in a cup, okay? I think I'm still gonna have a hard time getting through the whole thing. Mm. Let's get Olivia. Alright, Olivia's in the house for the party. <laughs> She's excited. I'm gonna try my so version with one pump. I definitely like that better. What? For sure. It probably tastes like water. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> it needs all three pumps. Okay. One pump, no whip, is a delightful, just fall essence that in a cup. This is where it's at. Right here. Don't get that mess. To each their own. Okay. Now, for the pumpkin bread. Let's compare with the orange Dunkin' Donut. Yeah, this color's way more authentic. This is too artificial. Nice and warm. Mm-hmm. It's like got a crust of something. There is some pistachio on top. Mm-hmm. It's okay. <laughs> I like the pumpkin bread. Um, it's not super sweet like cake, but it's mm-hmm. just like a good pumpkin bread. Mm-hmm. So far, the sweet treat winner, Starbucks Absolutely, pumpkin bread. without a doubt. This pumpkin spice love, it's, it's very divisive. It's like you're either it's too much or I can't get enough. Much I'm a little, you? I'm a little, I think it's a little too much. And you know what too, what it might be, is you know that it's only here for a short amount of time. It's kind of like Girl Scout cookies. Okay. Like it's okay, like you know that it's going to end. Okay. So, so you kind of have to like live it up while you can because it's going to go away. It's not here year round. That makes Would it, it be a That craze? is the, probably the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, thank you. That's the, that you finally helped me understand what the fuss is all about. I think the divisiveness is like cilantro. Oh, you either love it or hate it. I hate it. It's the worst. Okay. Comment <laughs> below. I want to know if you're that type of person. You just, is it a package deal? Uh-uh. You love PSL. You hate cilantro. cilantro. Are you like me? Or are you like Alicia? <laughs> Which mom? Tastes like soap. Like? Okay. I'm going to go continue my research. All right. So the trip to Target... Um, is pretty successful. They got a lot of pumpkin spice stuff. I didn't go crazy, y'all, because it's. I feel like it's gonna be the same thing. Rustic pumpkin spice trail mix. Okay, so this is something a little more savory. It's pumpkin spice peanuts, cinnamon flavored pretzel balls, yogurt covered raisins, and pumpkin seed kernels. The peanuts are good. I wanted them to be a little more like sweet and salty. I still don't think you could do too much of it. This might be nice to set out if you were having a little bit of like a small group or some company over. Here's the deal. I cannot do any more research until I eat something salty. I got some pickles. I'm not one of the people that can't get enough. I've had enough. I've traveled the city and I'm ending up here at DQ because they have a pumpkin pie blizzard. I may get a mini pumpkin pie blizzard and a small pumpkin cookie butter shake. Okay, this is the pumpkin cookie butter shake. This looks really good. That definitely just has like pumpkin puree. Tastes like the stuff straight out of the can. This tastes the most like pumpkin pie of anything I've tasted so far. However, I could only take Maybe two more sips of this. Maybe three. Okay, here's the blizzard. Okay, this is chunks of pumpkin pie. Um, You can see like the crust and the 
like real orange puree like from the pumpkin pie. I love the crust of a pie. And this is just like little cookie crust. It's not like the dough of pie, pie crust. You get more like vanilla ice cream with a swirl of pumpkin and some crunchy cookies. This does not taste like pumpkin pie. If I was getting my pumpkin fix at Dairy Queen, I'm gonna get the pumpkin cookie butter shake over the blizzard. Now it's time for the beer taste test. The essence is exactly like all of those pumpkin spice treats. It's there. I mean, it, it tastes like a beer. It's not overwhelming. Thank goodness. It's not overly sweet, like a hard cider. I think it's kind of tasty. Okay, let me taste this one. This is the Blue Moon. I feel like I'm gonna like this better. The flavor tastes a little more like artificially, more than this one. But again, definitely beer forward. This is not like a sweet pumpkin pie flavored beer. I might prefer this over like the full strength pumpkin spice latte. So at the end of the day, I think I like a hint of pumpkin. I'm not all in with the PSO. I for one have had my fill till next year. For more episodes of Mom Versus, don't forget to follow my recipes on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Happy fall, y'all. Have you had one yet this season? Yes, I have. My husband brought me home one with some of the Bath and Body Works pumpkin soap. One afternoon. I, said, I don't want to bake. I don't want to smell. I, I've never wanted to, you know, wash myself with like cocoa. What? Oh my gosh. I don't want to smell favorite. like a dessert. I, I just want to smell like, like flowers everywhere. or something. No, I want to smell like a pumpkin just <laughs> threw up on me. I mean, like put me all up She's in it. She's the people we talk about, y'all. I don't care. I love it. <laughs>